All right, new video. I am at a location just south of Cedar City on a small road that parallels the interstate. You can probably hear cars and trucks uh, over the hill from me. Uh, and the reason I came down here is we needed to review uh, tertiary and quaternary sedimentation. So let's say neogene and quaternary sedimentation, uh, which are these lower sedimentary rocks here, right? A conglomerate. And then quaternary volcanism, if you look up above me, there are some black volcanic rocks. Um, you know they're volcanic uh, because of their crystalline nature. Uh, although it's very finely crystalline, you can also see that there are, are vesicles here that have been somewhat collapsed by the great thickness of these lava flows. A reminder, quaternary uh, basalts, and these are about 1 million years old. Uh, they're listed as 1.1 million years using the potassium argon method. Uh, are being erupted during basin and range extension when you have thinning of the lithosphere and decompression melting beneath um, sort of the, the basin and range region. So just a, a review of that material since I wasn't able to talk to you about it in person. So hopefully this helps. A quick little quick little thing here. Uh, you can see these sediments have a white a white crust on them. This is a good example of calcification that occurs um, in arid environments. And if I put acid on it, you can't see it very well, but they did fizz. So we've got calcium carbonate precipitating on the rocks as it as it leaches out of the sediments or leaches out of uh, the calcium is pro potentially leaching out of the, the overlying salts as well. Although the, the sediments in this area are very calcium rich uh, because they're coming from our Mesozoic rocks that are very calcium rich. So there's a good chance that's what it's from. So here's another spot, another spot just down you know, 30, 40 feet from where I was earlier in these videos. Uh, you can see the lower sediments. And then there's this sort of crunchy zone here and then the nice basalts above it. In this zone, you can see maybe that the basalts are very contorted and they've also incorporated some of the underlying sediments. So as that lava flow is moving over the landscape, maybe also interacting with uh, small streams, ponded water, or sediment that has a lot of water, like groundwater in it, uh, you get this very crumbly, mashy, ah-ah uh -uh type um, basalt that would be very uncomfortable to walk on. And then there's the much smoother flows above it. So just another little element here of quaternary volcanism. Reiterating, so again, this, this is the same flow I was just talking about. I just wanted to get closer. There are pieces of mud in with these basaltic chunks. So this lava flow is, is mixing up the underlying sediment and incorporating it into it in this specific spot. And you can see that stretches a little bit uh, down this way. And then there are other places where the lava flow is essentially in contact directly with the sediment. So it happens sometimes, but not all the time. 